Hello guys, um, Movie Bubbler here with another Photoshop tutorial. Um, now we're gonna, or I'm gonna show you how how I used to do, used to enhance my my game screenshots. For example, here from Halo Three, uh, I start with. I'm, I'm gonna show you some examples in in the end. But I start here with the copying the the current layer, which uh, is the background, and I make it uh, invisible um, temporarily. So we're gonna use it later. Um, then I'm I'm gonna mark this uh, battle rifle here, um, working kind of quick with the the positive and negative tool uh, to make it stand out. And I'm gonna copy it uh, to a new layer, so I know where I've got it. But first, I'm gonna refine the edge, and now my presets are already set uh, because I've done this before. But you can you can uh, mess around with them a bit to get what you like. And after we've copied it to a new layer. We're going to filter and add in, add noise to the background to make it a little more photo realistic. And then we go and add some blur to the to the weapon. And then we add noise to that as well. I recommend you use uh, Gaussian blur. And when we've done that, we go to our copied layer and put some Gaussian blur on that as well and then we drag the opacity down to about half which will, will make a sort of a glowy effect and then you can for yourself add brightness and contrast if you like and other stuff like color adjustment or so I think I, I mess around a bit with uh, the gamma Yeah, you see. I recommend you add some saturation to your image because most game screenshots are pretty pale. So now we're gonna do some uh, some vignette. To, we're gonna add some vignette to to the picture. Let's, then we first create a white layer. Then we set the blending style to multiply. And then we go into filter, distort lens correction. And then we're just gonna mess around a bit with uh, the vignette settings and amount and midpoint. So we, we get as much as we like on our picture. This is uh, not necessary, but but it may it may fit or it may not. It's personal, and then we'll just save as JPEG, for example, and. Uh, Make, su make sure you save as a new one and not replace the old one because you may want to have the original. So here's the result, a very quick edit. And if we compare it to the old one, it's kind of big difference. It's it's uh, much more interesting to to look at, and I have some more uh, screenshots here, and all of those are edited. Uh, some of them don't have the vignette, but they have all the other stuff. So. It's just uh, some cool tips on what you can do with your pictures. 
That's all from Movie Bublech. Take care.